Hey watercolor wizards, Hajra here. Today I'll be debuting and reviewing a new product, the Compact Portable Raza Easel. It's available via Kickstarter campaign that's live right now, so don't miss your chance to grab yours. The Kickstarter and other relevant Raza Easel links are in my description and my comment section. Thanks for parking your brushes here and let the epic art adventures begin. $7 patrons get all my new longer private YouTube videos, free passes to my six Skillshare videos, along with info-dense deconstructed art and Q&A posts, video notes, and sketch downloads. If you know my channel, you know I don't ever accept product sponsors and also rarely accept products for review. The only times I ever actually accepted a free product to review before this was the Viviva color sheets and the portable painter palette. And that was because those were products I was genuinely interested in trying and buying on my own. So again, this Raza easel is a product that I am genuinely interested in buying on my own. And in fact, I'm gonna be one of the backers for the Kickstarter. It's not a biased free review. I'm actually gonna be, you know, paying for my easel. So I wanna show you really quickly my drawing board. This is my drawing board that I've had for several years. And it's got a nice clipboard at the top here that you can use to clamp stuff on. And I also bought these silicone bands, which are long lasting and reusable. If I have a, a watercolor block or something that's a little bit thicker, I can actually put that underneath the silicone band part of it, use this to hold my paper on there. And then if it's a single sheet of paper, I can use binder clips to clip it on there if I don't want to use a clipboard at the top. So those are all options for how to attach. Now this drawing board is pretty large, 16 by 21, pretty heavy drawing board. I can't take this in my car. I can't use it when I'm drawing or sketching in bed. And sometimes I have tried putting it there, but it does take up a huge amount of space. So I can't really put it in my lap at all. So it does have its limitations because of the size. And the other thing that I wanna show is the angles that actually tilts up at. There's five angles back there that you can use to tilt it at. Plopping it in front of this area right here, get a sort of made up six angle. I wanna show you the difference between this and the cute little easel I am introducing today. This cute little thing is called a Raza easel. And the Kickstarter for this is live right now totally hope that you would go and support this by the end of this video. And this is only nine inches wide by 13 inches long. So it's the same dimensions as the travel easel that I have shown in a past video, but it is so much thinner and lighter. You can see that it's got a few tricks up its sleeve and I wanna show you what they are. It's called a Raza easel. It comes from the Latin term tabula rasa which means blank slate. It's actually a great name for an easel because you know, you're starting with your, your empty blank page and all the possibilities that your imagination provides you. And it was created to lovely gentlemen. And the one who contacted me and sent me the easel to review, his name is Jacob Lewis. He's a middle school teacher and also an artist and also a chronic pain sufferer. So he has a lot in common with me. Felt like this was gonna be a thoughtful product. It was for artists by artists, for teachers by teachers, great ergonomic tool to have. So my honest reactions to this product were that that this is really lovely. It's well made. It's made out of maple and it's attractive. It's very light. It's uh, got a tidy silhouette. It's not an eyesore at all. And so it's really adorably compact, light and portable. And I can hold it in one hand, which I can't do with any of my other drawing boards or other easels. And I love the stylish inscribed logo and the handmade nature of this product. So first of all, I'm gonna unhook this strap and it's got a little elastic band here that goes around the side so that when you're walking around your drawing pad doesn't flop about. So you can choose to use that elastic band for that. When I'm at home, I just don't really bother to use it because I'm not carrying it around. And I really like that it has a really informative touch with all of these labeled tabs that are showing the, the tilt and the increments in degrees. It goes all the way from 10 to 60 degrees and it's going in five degree increments. That's way more tilts than I have on my big drawing board or my other travel easel and on any other easel that I've looked at. So this has the most angles and that really made me happy. And all of this stuff here, there's no glue or screws used for it. All of these parts are replaceable and repairable. You, and you can use it in both directions. It sort of tilts out back in that way or in this way, depending on how you have your pads labeled in both directions. And then I just tilt this part up, it just flips open. You choose an angle that you wanna set it up at. You just take your pad and you set it into one of those areas and it just sort of slides right onto that area like that. And then you have it sturdily set up there. You can have it super flat if you're sitting in bed or if you wanna just switch to having it in your lap. It folds right into itself, so there's absolutely nothing poking out of the back that'll bother you. So it's nice because it can be used all the way flat and then all the way up to 
60 degrees. So that's what it would look like at the 60 degree angle. And that's what it looks like at the side. This makes it really ergonomic because there's less fatigue in your neck, back, shoulders, elbows, wrists, and hands, the more you can change your angle constantly, which you're working at. And you'll be able to go from 10 to 60 degrees with this easel. And since it's wood and it's not plastic junk, you could actually paint or decoupage this if you wanted, but you really should use some matte medium or some gesso or sizing on this before you did that if you were gonna do that. But I really like the sleek, clean finish the way that it is. It didn't come with any instructions. I just had this picture in the front here on the pad and that's all I needed, <laughs> like an Ikea manual to set it up. There's no words necessary. It's really, really simple. Jake is super nice. If you email him, he'll get right back to you if you have any questions. So it's not a liability to have this along as a tool. It's a hybrid tool that's equally at home as an easel, a tiltable drawing board, and also as a flat drawing support. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in real quick so I can show you just how cool and ingenious this part is that's holding the pad in. So you know when you tilt it up, this top part of the pad right here, that notch in it locks over any of these tabs for the angles. And normally you know that this little spiral thing is holding this pad onto this backboard. But it also has these same spirals punched in at the bottom here. And the reason that's so is because actually when you squeeze this part back like this, you just pull it back, it gives you a little hole so that you can unattach that pad so you can have that for a refill. And that's really cool because there's like no glue, no screws, no nothing. It's all replaceable, repairable parts and it's all very environmentally friendly and sustainable and biodegradable materials. 99% of the materials used here are biodegradable and this metal part obviously is recyclable as well. When I push this back down, it'll close that little gap down there and now my pad is secure at the bottom. If I wanted to remove this pad and put another pad on here. It's just as easy as that. I really like that it's a snug padlock for the pad. You know, padlock. Oh, I know, I know, corny puns, we meet again. You knew when you were watching this video and it was by me that there was a risk for corny puns, so. And I've got chronic pain and I've got really weak hands and I was still able to push this open and push it back. So it really is that easy to use, but it's very sturdy. It's got a tight fit. And I love that there's this fabric that feels rubbery that holds onto the table so it doesn't skid as well. So I like all of those little touches and you see that same anti-skid part up here so that when you have it sitting on a table in any direction, all parts of it are not skidding anywhere, which is great. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom back out so I can talk more about the paper. The one they sent me is a mixed media paper and it's eight by 10 inches. And they also offered, I think in a six by eight size as well. And this has 15 acid free sheets and it's 187 pounds. And that is super, super thick. For comparison, my Arches watercolor paper, that standard watercolor paper is 140 pounds. So this is that much thicker. This is like another 47 pounds thicker than my Arches watercolor papers. And I really like that it's a really smooth finish. And like, as I said, it's a really thick paper. All the other mixed media paper that I have is usually around 90 pounds. So to have something that's 187 pounds feels really luxurious. And it definitely doesn't have any buckling issues and it's a pretty robust paper. And the eight by 10 pad size is actually my favorite classroom size. This pad size is chosen thoughtfully by a teacher because it's not too big to haul around and it's not too small to share demos in a small group or do individual work. The other exciting thing about this is that so once your paper is used up, you're not sort of wedded to having to use that pad with this paper. The backboard on here is really, really thick. It's the thickest cardboard back to a pad that I've ever seen. They made this really thick so that it's meant to be reusable. You can see it's as thick as the maple of the easel. And so you can tape or binder clip, use magnets to stick a piece of paper on here of any paper of your choice, and then just use the easel without the pad. And I'm actually gonna show you that real quick because I actually got a second pad and I've removed the pad so I can show you how that works. So here's a scrub jay and pumpkins painting that I've been working out for one of my Santa Cruz Art League workshops for in October, that's coming up in October. So if you're around here, I would love to see you. So I could use binder clips to attach this paper or I can use tape. But what I did was I took this board and I just used magnets. I've got the two other parts of them on the back there, but I can use it to stick a piece of paper on here because they're quite strong. So it just goes right onto here and it sticks it. And then you can put, you know, whatever you want. You can also use, like I said, tape or binder clips to do that. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how you can remove this, put this backboard in so that I can use a custom paper instead of it just being the mixed media pad, which is great, but you probably have lots of other paper like I do. If you get the cardboard version, then you'll have a really thick piece of cardboard that you can use for that. They're also selling this one, which I think is MDF or chipboard or something like that. So this should last forever. Very water resistant and it's very strong. And I'm looking forward to having this guy around for years before 
before I even switch to that guy. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this pad off the easel by doing what I was showing you guys before. Just to just pull this out. I've got my scrub jay out of the way. That makes it a little bit easier to this side. I can also pull that off and it comes out right away. So now I've got this pad that I can use on my own or put back onto the easel when I want to. And like I said, I'm definitely gonna save that back part because very useful to have that to attach a painting to with any paper I want in the future. So now I've got this portion of the easel left and I'm gonna take the other backboard that I have that came with the other pad. I actually just took the pad off of this because I obviously haven't used up all the paper. Turn this around because that's the top. The top part is the part that has that little notch in it that is going to attach to the part of the easel with the angle tilts on it. So we wanna make sure that part's at the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to here and attach that to there. And now that's on there. Little magnets with the little floral bouquets. Pop this back in. Very fast and easy. Okay, and now I've got this available. Let's put it at a low angle so you guys can see it a little bit better. Now I can put any paper that I want at any angle and that would work great. So you can see just how lovely that is to be able to paint on there at any angle. And I do believe that even before your pad runs out, you can actually use this pad and flip the easel over so that you can tape the the paper onto this side when it's still attached in the easel. And so now you can see that I put that pad back on and suppose I wanted to use the other side to just attach paper but not remove the pad. I think I can just flip the whole easel over. So you can flip it over and try to notch the easel in on this side and then you've got your blank side again because remember the pad's on the other side even though you haven't taken it off. What I did notice is that there is the top part that extends over the top. It depends on the kind of person you are. You might just ignore that. But what I thought is it would be cute to put a mini LED light or a mini webcam on here. So if you wanted to be like in a dark room or car or airplane, you can put a little light on the top of here, like a little book light, and then it'll have your pad lit, which I think is something that's unintentional, but it's a really cute thing to use this part that's extending over the top because you know, it's, it's solid wood and you can just clamp a little light little lamp on here if you wanted to. Now make sure you don't put something heavy on there that's gonna break your easel because that's not how it was intended to be used. So, you know, do that at your own risk. I I tend to do stuff like that. So it's really versatile and is made out of sustainable materials and by nice people who are teachers and artists. And I'm actually gonna be using this in a future painting video. Beautiful little bunny. And I'm gonna have him attached onto my blank backboard, which is made out of that chipboard. And so that way you get my thoughts on how I feel like after I've used it for painting while I'm filming. I haven't painted with this easel yet. I've only sketched on it, so I think I'd like to save that as a unique experience for a separate video. So stay tuned for my thoughts post-use of painting with this nifty and exciting Raza easel. Though my other two easels are attractive and good quality, they are way bulkier and far heavier, and my white drawing board is not a good travel option at all. So the bottom line is I feel like the Raza easel is a really enjoyable, convenient, and helpful tool for life teaching, for travel art journaling, or for ergonomic convenience at home or in a car or on a plane. It doesn't have to be just for artists. The tiltable support and pad allow this to be a good demoing tool for a small group of students when teaching or demoing or pretty much doing anything that can be written on a pad, whether it's a diagram, a math equation, music notes, classroom note taking, why not do it all at variable angles for ergonomic health if you have such a light and portable option? You know, it's basically just a pad attached to this tiltable wood thing. I think that's great, especially if you've got chronic pain. So again, I'm gonna be supporting this product on Kickstarter and I suggest any of my viewers who are artists, teachers, chronic pain sufferers, or trying to prevent chronic pain, do the same. Grab one of these little easels while you can. Well, wizards, I hope you enjoyed being introduced to this nifty, compact, and useful little Raza easel. Again, the Kickstarter for this really adorable product is live right now, so don't miss your chance to grab one and also support a small business with super nice folks behind it. All the relevant Raza easel links are below. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my website dashboard for easy access to all my online platform links on a single page to support my art creation and instruction. Thanks for parking your brushes here and wishing you all epic art adventures.